During this year's ESMO 2022, I reported the data of the DeFi trial, which is a phase three trial testing neurogazistat in desmo tumor patients. Desmo tumors are actually a rare disease, difficult to treat due to their unpredictable clinical course and the variable presentation. And we have absolutely no health authority approved drugs for this disease. Um, uh, so we tested neurogazistat, which is a small molecule, orally available gamma secretase inhibitor, uh, which actually blocks notch um, and desmo tumors express notch. So there is a clear mechanistic rationale for uh, using a gamma secretase inhibitor in this disease. It was a phase three trial, placebo controlled, randomized, double blind, primary endpoint progression-free survival, which was clearly met with an approved progression-free survival demonstrating a 71% reduction in the risk of disease progression. Uh, the median estimated PFS in the placebo arm was 15.1 month and was not even reached with neurogazistat due to the low number of events. We had a confirmed objective response rate of 41% in the neurogazistat arm compared to 8% in the placebo arm, again highly statistically significant. And even more important, we tested a, lot, a variety of patient reported outcome measures, which are actually important in this disease. And all these outcome measures were consistently, statistically significantly positive, including pain, physical and role functioning um, and overall quality of life. In terms of safety, neurogazistat was over, overall well tolerated with 95% of all treatment emergent adverse events being grade one and two. And the onset of these adverse events were very early, usually between the first cycle. So the most frequent adverse events with this drug were diarrhea, rash, hypophosphatemia and stomatitis and dose reductions were necessary in about 40% of patients. But overall, a very good and manageable drug. So in conclusion, DeFi is the first global randomized uh, and very robust clinical trial with a positive result in this indication, and it definitely forms the basis uh, for a possible approval and registration of this drug in this indication.